Hello, and welcome to our e-immigration video. In this video, we will show you how to use a new feature called Activities. With Activities, you can trigger a set of actions when working with process steps or to the case profile itself. The Activities automate functions that you typically would do working on a case. Let us review the different things you can do. From within the caseworker portal, we will go into the case profile. Once inside the case profile, you will notice a new tab titled Activities, located on the bottom right. Let us click on it. From here, we will click on Add Activity. A pop-up will appear asking you to set the activity. In other words, what would you like e-immigration to do? The first thing we want to do is select the initial action that will prompt a reaction by the system. We will see the On drop-down menu with two options case closed, and case archived. We will select one of them. Then we will select the do drop-down menu and see add case comment, add expense, send email, or send questionnaire. By selecting the on and do, once a case is closed, for example, it will prompt the system to do whatever was selected in the do section, such as add a case comment. Or maybe you want to set an activity that emails a client when you archive a case. By setting activities, it automates actions when closing a case or archiving a case. Need a specific message to be logged? Select add case comment and proceed to put the message. Need to gather a set of expenses to bill your client? Proceed to add expenses. Need an email to be sent out? Select an email and have a message typed out. And finally, need to send questionnaires? Select questionnaires you want your client to receive. Once saved, you will see all your created activities. From here, you can always edit the activity, delete it, and you can even run the activity without having to actually close or archive the case. Also, once an activity is completed, you can always rerun the activity by clicking on the rerun button, prompting the system to perform the activity. By adding all activities you'd like to see, when you close or archive a case, it will prompt a sequence of events created in this Activities section. Now, these activities not only appear here, but also appear on individual process steps. If we go into the process steps of a case profile, you will see a button titled Activities within each process step. When we click on it, you will see a similar pop-up box as we saw in the Activities tab previously. When selecting the On drop-down menu, you will see specific times pertaining to an individual process step. The options are when a process step has started, when a process step has been completed, when a process step reaches its target date, X days after start date, X days before target date, X days after target date, and X days after completed date. If you select anything starting with an X, it will require you to enter the number of days on the section titled Event Time Interval, meaning how many days before or after you like to see this activity take place. The Do section will have similar selections as we saw earlier in the activities. You can create a specific comment in the logs, add set expenses to be billed, compose an email that will be sent, or send questionnaires to a specific client. Once finalized creating, click on Save. You will see the same Edit button, Delete button, Run button, and when completed, a Rerun button will appear to make the system rerun the activity. You can create as many activities as you'd like per process step. Before we end this video, please note that you can make default process step activities in the Admin Tools page. This way, every time you select a case, your process step activities are already set. If in the admin page, go to your case processes. From here, select the case you want to apply a process step activity and click on the process steps. Before you add activities, you may want to finalize and customize your process steps. Below in the descriptions is a link to a video showing you how to customize. Using what we previously learned on this video, we will go into a single process step and select the activity buttons. Just as before, we will click on the plus button, and we will be brought to create the process step activity. Once you have modified your process step activities here, anytime you select this case, the software will automatically list your process steps, 
as well as activities associated with them. As you can see, adding activities will automate functions and make tasks easier for you. This concludes our video on activities at the case level and in process steps. Hit the subscribe button to be alerted when new videos come out and be informed of new features like this one. Thank you for watching.